Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In December 1974, the National Park Service declared the Great Mansion Dunleith a National Historic Landmark. It is the last remaining antebellum home in Mississippi that boasts an encircling colonnade. Charles Dahlgren constructed the house after an 1855 fire destroyed an earlier residence on the property known as Ruthland. That house has been built by Joe Bruth, Dahlgren's father-in-law. Dahlgren kept the Ruthland name for his new house, but soon after he sold the property in 1858, the new owner, Alfred Vidal Davis, renamed the estate Dunley. The Greek Revival main house, with its 26 Tuscan columns, rests in a large 40-acre park-like setting with a collection of Romantic Gothic buildings, such as a stable, carriage house, poultry house, and greenhouse. An elaborate cast iron fence runs along the property boundary on Homochitta Street, and the acreage is dotted with live oaks and flowering southern shrubs. One of Dunley's most famous occupants was John Roy Lynch, a slave of the Davis family who would become one of the first African Americans to sit in the United States Congress. With its soaring columns and picturesque setting, Dunleith has been a favorite location for a number of movies filmed in Natchez, such as Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn, the James Brown but Get On Up, and the 1957 classic Rain Tree County with Elizabeth Taylor and Montgomery Cliff. Since 1976, Dunleith has served as an historic inn with 22 guest rooms, a fine dining restaurant, and venue spaces to accommodate weddings and a variety of events. I'm John Holyoke, the general manager of Dunleith Historic Inn, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.